Good morning, everybody. I'm sauteing up some button mushrooms, some sliced mushrooms, about eight ounces in some butter. I'm gonna season them with some salt and pepper. This morning, I am making one of my favorite recipes. I love a good steak sandwich, I really do. So I'm making a mushroom and a steak sandwich in a big French baguette out of this world, just really, really yummy. And it's also a great way to use up leftover steak. So next time you're grilling some steaks, do you have some leftovers? Uh, make this recipe, or maybe grill an extra steak and you know make this recipe um, later in the week. That's kind of how I roll. Cook once, turn it into a few different recipes. So you'll need about one steak um, that we've already got one here, sliced into uh, thin strips. And again, my mushrooms are hanging out, getting a little bit of color. I love them with a little bit of color. Now I'm gonna work on the spread. And that's really what makes this um, recipe, I think, so special. I've got a half of a cup of sour cream, three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise. Now don't worry, you're gonna say, this is a lot of spread. Well, this makes one big sandwich. And this is optional. I happen to love horseradish, but if you don't, you can leave it out or cut back on it. But I've got one tablespoon of prepared horseradish, and I'm gonna just whisk this together. And it's kind of like a horseradish mayo. Maybe season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, that's up to you. And then I'm gonna add some fresh chopped chives, which actually I have, I'm growing this right in a pot, um, but you know what, you can, if you're not growing fresh herbs, no big deal. You can pick them up right at the grocery store. I'm just using my kitchen shears to chop those right into that mayonnaise and sour cream horseradish mixture and it just freshens up the spread for the sandwich. I think that's really one of the keys to a good sandwich. It's the spread and lots of it. So I've got a nice big toasted baguette and I toast it up. You can kind of hear that um, in the oven a little bit. And I'm gonna take some of this spread and generously smear this. That's what they use in New York when it comes to the bagels on both sides of my baguette. This is just great for tailgating, a great dinner, and like I say, a delicious way to use up leftover steak. So both sides of the baguette just dripping with this spread. You can even serve a little extra on the side. Now I'm gonna take my thin strips of steak and just pile them into this sandwich. I know, you're drooling at home. This is one of my favorites and just really easy to do. A sirloin steak works great. Um, burgundy pepper spoon steaks are fabulous, but New York strip steaks if you're gonna splurge, but whatever you have is all gonna work great. Here come the mushrooms. Perfectly done. I think a lot of people undercook their mushrooms. I really do like a little bit of color. Color is flavor. Nice big skillet gets them nice and brown. Mm. And then this is optional, but just for a little bit of freshness, I'm going to do a little bit of spring mix lettuce. Now, no, this is not a sandwich for one person. This is going to feed a family, so um, don't you worry about it. Cut it into three or four inch pieces. Serve it with your favorite deli side that you can just pick up right at festival from potato salad to coleslaw to pasta salad or um, just even some, some kettle chips. That's my favorite side or one of them. There we go, recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any festival foods. Enjoy my steak and mushroom sandwich. It's a winner.